Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the impeller shredder blade in the Cub Cadet Chipper Shredder, you will need a half-inch wrench and socket, a 7 16 inch wrench and socket, needle nose pliers, a 3 8 inch Allen wrench, a 9 16 inch six-point socket, a torque wrench, and a 2x4 wood support. Use the half-inch wrench to secure the bolts and the half-inch socket to unthread the nuts, securing the hopper assembly support plate to the impeller housing. Using the half-inch socket, unthread the six mounting nuts securing the front of the hopper assembly to the housing. With the nuts unthreaded, tilt the hopper assembly back and lift up to fully detach the assembly from the bolts. Remove the shredder plate. Next, unthread the two retaining knob screws, securing the bottom of the discharge chute. Use the 7 16 inch wrench to secure the chute's mounting bolt. Then use the 7 16 inch socket to fully unthread the nut. Slide out the bolt. Detach the chute. And remove the two spacers. Use the needle nose pliers to pull out the retaining pin, securing the shredder screen pin, and slide the pin out. Now lift up the shredder screen and support it. Use the 2x4 piece of wood to prevent the impeller from rotating. Use the 9 16 inch six point socket with a half inch driver to unthread the center mounting bolt securing the shredder blade and impeller. This will require some effort. Remove the 2x4 wood support. Now, using the 3 16 inch Allen wrench and the half inch wrench, unthread the two nuts and bolts to fully release the old blade. You're now ready to install the new shredder blade. With the beveled screw holes facing outward, align the blade on the impeller. Insert the bolts through the holes, slide on the washers, then thread and tighten the nuts.
Next, reinsert the wood support to secure the impeller, then thread the center mounting bolt. Using the 9 16th inch 6 point socket on a torque wrench, torque the center bolt to 50 foot pounds. Remove the wood. Release the support and lower the shredder screen. Slide the shredder screen pin through the impeller housing and screen. Insert the retaining pin to secure. Realign the discharge chute on the impeller housing and insert the spacers. Insert the mounting bolt, then thread and tighten the nut. Fully position the chute, then thread and tighten the retaining knob screws. Realign the shredder plate on the six impeller housing bolts. Reinstall the hopper assembly by aligning the support plate on the two upper mounting bolts first. Then rotate the assembly to align it on the impeller housing bolts. Thread and tighten all eight mounting nuts to secure. We recommend hand threading the nuts first then using the socket to tighten once all the nuts are in place. The chipper shredder should now be ready for use.